The world has been brought to a standstill by an emerging infectious disease. What is this disease? And what does it have to do with biodiversity? Coronaviruses are common in mammals and birds, and seven are known to infect humans. Four of these cause mild symptoms akin to the common cold. COVID-19 is short for Coronavirus Disease 2019. It is an acute respiratory disease caused by the SARS coronavirus 2. It has also been called the novel coronavirus because it had not previously been identified in humans. In the past two decades, three new and deadlier coronaviruses have emerged from animal reservoirs, causing serious and widespread illness and death. In 2002, SARS coronavirus emerged as a human disease, likely originating in horseshoe bats in China's Yunnan province. Middle Eastern Respiratory Syndrome, or MERS, was identified in 2012, and scientific evidence suggests that dromedary camels are a major reservoir host. The current outbreak of SARS coronavirus 2, which causes the disease COVID-19 in humans, is genetically similar to coronaviruses found in bats and pangolins. Much is yet to be discovered about these viruses and how they came to infect humans. What is known is that our activities are putting pressure on the natural world, making these kinds of outbreaks more likely. Media coverage has focused on wet markets in Asia, which are actually similar to farmers markets in the West, but the reality is much more complicated and much more global. Habitat loss, ecosystem disruption, deforestation, illegal wildlife trade, Industrial agriculture and climate change are stressors that drive wild and domestic animal populations into closer contact with each other and with humans. What can we do to reduce the likelihood of this happening again? We can invest in restoring habitats and the integrity of natural ecosystems. We can rethink the way we produce and trade in animals and animal products. We can meet our commitments to stop climate change and biodiversity loss. People and governments around the world are laying the groundwork for a post-2020 global biodiversity framework that will help us achieve these goals. Together, we can build back better after this pandemic, creating a future where we live in harmony with nature.